All right, dudes, let's have some fun. I've got some questions to answer, some teams to analyze. So we're gonna start here in the, with the questions for the last 24 hours. Toby Ma, could Joey Tarpany to Cotter be a good last trade or should I keep Tarpany and play Palacia or Lewis? Woo -hoo. If it's one week, you'd hold, right? But if it's two or three, it's probably just worth taking the extra points from Cotter. Someone mentions it a little bit lower too. They well, actually in the one of the analyzing teams that they said that you know Tarpany a lot of the guys with some rib injuries will come back and they're not as strong as they were. They didn't play as well. They didn't get as many meters. They didn't. They weren't as damaging with ball in hand. So definitely a potential issue that could happen for Joey. But they will need him to come back and rip and tear to make the finals and get into a decent position. So I think if you if you reckon he's going to be out for two or three weeks, make the trade. If you think it's going to be one. Again, you're hitting and hoping, then hold because you don't really want Palisades five or ten or fifteen or whatever he's going to end up with. So should get a few more minutes with Carrigan out. That's probably the only real thing to think about. Like last week or the mid twenty score, but yeah, very interesting one there. Benny Curtis playing head to head and fortunate to have a buy in both leagues this week. Two trades left to have Tarpany injured this week. We also have Cam McInnes on the bench. Some would like to upgrade. If consider McInnes to Dill Brown this week, leave me one trade and enough money to go Tarpany to Munster next week if he's still out. Second option, second option to pull trigger on Tarpany and McInnes this week at Joe O and Sean Lane as pods. Third option is to hold. Okay, hold this week and then potentially make the two trades next week if you want to. Simple. Reason for that is you don't need it. You don't need the, the win this week, right? So you can have a week to see if Tarpany is going to play. And if he, if he does come back, you want to hold him. And then you can just make the one trade for McInnes to, to Brown potentially next week. If Tarpany's back, and if he's not, you can do the double trade. Abraham, hey bro, I need a center this week. I only have Taylor May and Mariner. So what center do you believe would get the most points? So I just did that quick video before the buy, hold and sell where I went through all that, uh, all those guys at potential prices. I went from the lowest to the highest to so jump in and check that out in that range that you're looking for. There's potentially a couple of okay options to be honest with you, but again, no one that's gonna sit there and absolutely dominate. You got Dejan Arce, you see in the centers as well, you could pick up, but yeah, not, not a heap of great options, but someone would be able to score you 30 to 40 for sure. Is Harris to Murray a good trade? Again, if it's your only issue, then you could do it, but I really think that Harris is a hold, so play it as you wish, but Murray is, is pretty close to a must have. Do I stick steady with To? Oh, he's currently my 17th man, I have five trades remaining. The question is, who would you go to? If you think there's someone that could clearly average 50 or 55, then you can make the trade because To'o is going to be a little bit up and down in this team that doesn't have clear in Luai. He's on that right side. He hasn't scored incredibly well this year. He's had you know, a decent average, some decent games, but nothing spectacular. So I think you can make that trade if there's someone that's a lot better and you have a bit of extra cash that you could go to, especially if he, is he cover for wing fullback? Is he just, uh, yeah, just his 17th player? Uh, could you get anyone in the game? Then that's the, you know, the things you got to think about. And I think you can pull that trigger if you get someone that's clearly going to average more than 50. Johnny, Barnett and Savage to Cook and Salmon or Barnett to Cotter and forget about Cook? If you have three or more trades, I think you can do it. If you have two trades, just do the one. Simple. All right. Let's go. We're going to feel these things. Aiden O'Malley, three trades left with 83 in the bank. Barnett straight to Butcher, or should I make two trades with Barnett to Grant or Cotter and Mam down to Salmon? Uh, go one trade, Barnett straight to Butcher. Good idea. Troll Mitt, Moale to Salmon. Reason for this is that I'd either have to play Moale, Pole, or Palacio. I think you can play Pole pretty safely just with the, the, the guys they've got on their bench. There's not a heap of superstars that are going to play big minutes, so I think Pole could be a solid scorer. Second one is Tohu to Munster. Uh, I only have one trade left. I would hold, man. Just hold and play Pole. Would be ideal. And then next week, you could probably make that trade. Tualangi or Cheese or Gutho for the booth trade to be, could be good. Okay, so he's talking about our people's score. Considering we have 250 in the bank, uh, trading up to one of those guys could get us a decent 17th score. I agree with that. That could be a, the way to go. Um, Wawa's, Wawa's John. Thank you for always being here. I appreciate it. All right. There you go, publicly subscribed to you one year. It's exciting. Uh, Dylan, use tra two trades upgrading Reedy and Cotter, but leaving me with no trades. Or use one trade and go Marnie to Butcher, but leaving me with no hook cover or hold. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the similar boat, hey? Two trades upgrading Marnie to Cotter. Uh, but leaving me with no, no trades. He's one trade and go. But who are you dropping down to? There's obviously a second trade, right? You haven't told me. I would probably hold, to be honest. What's up with him? And then next week, he can make that trade. With three trade, three game, three rounds left, 
Hopefully an 18th man, I reckon you can get through. What's up with Mano? What do you mean like two weeks ago he's been scoring? Oh, that's so tough. Sorry, Laros. Um, yeah, you deserve some love. Definitely a love heart with that. It's very unlucky. Uh, I think you can still hold, but it's a bit of a worry, right? As to how he's been going. He shouldn't score this low or any lower than where he's at. This is definitely the floor, so I think he can be better. But yeah, not good. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Cotter, that's for sure. Need to try. I'm so keen for him to be playing through the final series for the Cowboys. He's going to be such a such a gem. I'm glad he's got through that first few weeks after a hamstring injury too. Need to trade Husey for someone 600k or under, half or wing fullback. So I jumped in and, and had a go at those options, but White and Hunt or Gutherson. I think White can probably score the best. Hunt's going to be solid you know, here or there as always, and Gutho's going to have big weeks and then a little week. So if you want some consistency, White's probably a man. They do need to. He does need to play really well for them to to get a decent spot in the finals. And considering they lost pretty poorly on the weekend, I think he needs to step up. McInnes, Sakota, or two sideways? Or do you have Reed and Cook? Uh, how many trades? Three or more trades, you could probably go for it. Anything less, I'd just hold. It's not worth the upgrade. Could Joey Tarpany to Cotter be a good last trade? Or should I keep Tarpany and play Palacio or Lewis? Ooh. Potentially Lewis? I don't know. Last trade. You probably need 18 decent players if you're going to do that one. Yo, off and Yowie or Cotter, will Yo get enough tackles over the next three games to get good scores? And could he get rested against the Warriors? Potential for rest, for sure. Off, I won't get rested. Cotter, I think his minutes will go to about 60. I think off is probably the way to go, to be honest, out of the three, for that reason that Yo might get a little bit of a rest. I still think he'll score really well and play big minutes, and just maybe that last game he gets rested. So, offer, then... If we're just on general points, then maybe Yo and then Cotter. Uh, Cotter might get some rest in the last game too if they've locked up the se second position. Thoughts on Booth plus Lolo to Salmon and Butcher. I feel like it's solid, but if it's the last two trades, I wouldn't do it. Again, three or, three or more is okay. Uh, all right. Cola and Hughes to Salmon and Murray or Marnie and Hughes to Salmon and Murray? Cola and Hughes, Marnie. I'd go Cola. Colin Hughes for Sam and Murray or Marnie and Hughes? Well, maybe it's Colin Hughes and um, yes, you won't have as much money left over, but it's probably the better play. I think Reedy can score better than Cola, but obviously not on a week-to-week -week basis. Send it use all my trades and go Marnie, Hughes, Lolo or McInnes to Murray, Cotter and Salmon. I would leave one, man. Leave one. What do I do with Tarpany and only one trade left? Got a hold, unfortunately, Adam. I think, unless you got super amount of um, cover. Uh... All right, well, last, last two questions. Last man there, prelim finals, fourth. I read this one. Poor bloke. Um, thinking of selling Garrick and McInnes, but who to cook as hooker? So you obviously need to win this week. Garrick and McInnes, who to cook as hooker, and no cover. And DC and Hines as my wing fullback. Tafe, do you go for it, or do you just hold two trades left? Do you just use one trade? I'd hold Garrick. Just trade McInnes up to cook if you can. I don't know if you can do that. McInnes. It'll be close, eh? Yeah, I'd probably hold Garrick this week. I think he can have a good one against the the, Tigers, uh, the Titans. Need help, guys. One trade left. Attempt to get Murray last week and didn't. So now Lolo gone down in price and Murray's gone up. I can I can trade or can't? Does it sound good to trade McInnes to Murray and hold Lolo or trade Lolo for Munster? I think either way is going to be fine, but I would also just hold, to be honest, Lewis. All right, that's it on the uh, question side. Let's go to the teams. We have nine teams to quickly roll through. Should be a longer video, but getting it both in and once. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Like, subscribe, guys, and, and keep up with this video. I'd appreciate you sticking around to the end. That would be great, and hopefully it can help you out. Even if it's not for now, it's for next year as well. All right, first time posting for Mr. Payne Haas 98. Obviously, a few teams that have gone for that name, or similar. First, you get back into fantasy. Welcome back, man. I appreciate you watching my videos. In my main league, I have relatively easy matchup, but an elimination one. My trade for this week was Hughes to Hunt. Dragons, next three, Raiders, Titans, and Tigers. Okay, that's solid. In a pickle where I want to save my two trades for injury suspensions, however, I don't want to get greedy and get eliminated this week. I want to know your thoughts for potential second trade. Savage to Butcher or Curran? Well, if you did that, my worry is that you have probably five guys that aren't going to score very well. Dykesy, Tabuifado, Granville, Jennings, and Vulcan. So three guys not playing at all, really is a little bit of a worry if you're making that last upgrade and then you get an injury or two and you have to play at a hammer. You have, you're obviously playing Dykes already, so that's my main stressor with that one. Where's Husey? I've already made the Husey one. 
He must have. Okay. Yeah, Hunt's already in. Okay, so you're two more. Okay, so second trade. But yeah, okay, that's fine. Make one more trade. Savage to Butcher. Marnie looking good with your jinxing lately. Ugh, he's killing me. Thanks for bringing it up. All right, five trades left for Felt Yol Hayes. 163 in the bank. Content's been awesome lately, Jamie. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's really helped me get boosted up the ranks in the past few weeks after slow starts of the year. Good to hear. Tarpany didn't finish the game against Penrith on the weekend with a ribbon drinking plant. Yeah, this is the guy I was talking about that uh, most people come back a little bit slow. Most notably, Maddo. Yeah, that's for sure. Five trades remaining. I think you can trade him out, man. I could do a downgrade upgrade using two trades. Maybe something like Tarpany to offer Kota or Yo. Robot or 500k, 520k. Yeah, that's fine. Could you upgrade Kafusi? I'd probably upgrade Kafusi and try and do that one because he got enough trades to just cover week to week. So I'd rather upgrade Kafusi um, and and go to someone really expensive. That would be the best way to go about it. Uh, and thank you for the luck. It's definitely made into the video. I'd do that, man. Get rid of Kafusi and go up to what's they going to leave you with, like. What's what, what well, 240, so it leaves you 280k extra. So you get a 700k guy. I'd be doing that for sure, man. For that second one. Shum Master. Sitting well, 214 yeah, overall, four trades remaining. Hectic, loving the videos. Thank you very much. Currently very happy with where I'm, I am and looking to improve, uh, continue moving up. Love to hear your thoughts on this possible trade of Robson and Pollard to Cook and a 220k player. No. Hold Robson. Just had a, yeah, definitely. Well, it's not sideways. It's an increase, but I think there's better trades to make, is there not? You're obviously pretty, sitting very pretty with that, that bench and your starting side. Uh, well, what do you... So you downgrade... So Pole. But he's your best... He's your 18th man, Pole, so I'd be holding him, man. I wouldn't make those trades. Just hold this week and then potentially upgrade next week. I know it's been annoying to have the four trades, but... A marginal upgrade to then have no 18th man so if there is an injury through the through the week you're playing that's uh, through the weekend you're playing palacia which is not what you want so that's why i would hold i understand it's annoying to hold four trades but that would be how i do it all right week one of my headset finals are about to start i'd love some advice on my team the top four this week so it's not a knockout round for me thinking of making two trades lola to munster may to a 220 red dot so if you did that okay that makes sense. It does leave you no center cover, but enough trades to cover Burton, Aiken, if they don't play. Yeah, I think that's fine. Lower to Munster's a nice upgrade. Me to a Twitch Penny Red Dot. Yeah. 220. There's obviously a yeah, Dykesy and those types of guys that we can just go straight to already. Up to you on that one. You have what? Volkman not playing, Booth not playing. So you've got two guys that you could loop anyway. So maybe just go Dykes just in case if you need a um, wing fullback as some cover. All right, so what do we got here? Murray, Murray me can. That's a great one. Playing a dead final shortly with two trades remaining. Is it worth bringing Cotter for King too soon? Too soon or wait until later with potential injuries? Yep, hold. You don't want to leave it too short. You got Salmon playing your King there. Yeah, I think you're sweet, man. You got nice cover. So next week will be the way to do it. Use that one or two trades next week. I think would be fine. Good stuff. Doing well. All right, Wacko's Warriors. Currently two trades left and gone from 1900. To 2700 with late season injuries it is tough that's for sure two trades remaining reverse looking a bit sick poor booth yeah sad filler yeah and mariner out this week was the annoying one too thinking of the hughes despite only being potentially one week and kennedy to tedesco and a 260k player like thompson or empire which allows me to play 17 this week well, we definitely want 17 or i leave hughes in reserve this week and trade mckinnis this week to robson only play with 16 do i keep one trade left any other injuries this way thoughts on which way you would go all right, so, 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 what have you done, Hughes? Have you done that already? Where is he? I'm lost. Oh, he's at the bottom. Okay, um, oh, do you make the two trades or do you just make one trade? Husey to Ted? Did you do Husey to Ted? Probably not. Husey to a decent 6'8". 680 play. If you just made the one trade, I think would be fine. That would give you a 17th for this week, and then you could keep that one for a, an injury or a straight swap the week after. Would probably be my suggestion on that. Rather than playing for six with 16, and then you know if you're using those two trades, a 260 player is not really going to score you too well anyway. So maybe just use the one trade, Hughes to someone, and go from there. I think would be the best play. Three to go, guys. Subs, not grubs. Thank you for staying through the video. Let's finish it off. From first place in head to head on the ladder in. I'm in trouble losing the first week of finals in his sudden death versus a team that is hot at the moment. Ooh. 
Scary. Two trades left. I'm thinking of using them, but I won't. I won't tell you what I was thinking to buy. So your ideas. Thanks, Jamie. Well, the only trade outs in this team are potentially May, and then you look to the reserves, potentially McInnes. You know what would be nice if I knew how many trades you had left and how many uh, how much cash you had in the bank. So what would you do? I'm a shoot. Does he? What has he got? You got two trades left. I just need some cash in the bank. Two trades left. I would try and just make one. Can you? If you have an extra extra cash in the bank, then go McInnes to someone would be ideal. Um, do you need cover anywhere? You got mids cover. You've got a little bit of edge cover. Got center, wing fullback. Potentially need a slightly better seventeenth player, but I can understand the issues. I don't know, man. What else can you do? You can't really make a big upgrade, so. It's almost like a holding week. I said, if you had like 50, 50K, 100K, we could probably do some things, but if you're pretty close to, you know, 10, 20K, something like that, then there's really not a heap that you can do, if we're being honest. So I would have liked that your suggestions actually, Subsy. Uh, would definitely wouldn't bias me. I think it would help for the next time, hey? This has to work. Looking to make a trade. Near 600K in the bank. Holy smokes, what are you doing? Four trades left, thinking he'd do it to win my league finals. Hell yeah. I wouldn't know if he had a 600k in the bank. Savage one of the blow. Could keep through. Could keep though and trade out anyone really. Savage is a fine trade out. Savage, Pole, whatever you want to do. You could get Pole to, to anyone in the game. You could get someone like Volkman to most people in the game. I think Joe is the best one for the mids. Just. Dill Brown, great points. Do have a lot of halves. Could be inconsistent, definitely. Teddy. Do you need the wing fullback? Nope. Do you need the half? Nope. Do you want a better mid? Eh. Probably doesn't matter too much. You got hooker cover. Centers are pretty good. You're in a pretty good position, man. I just think pick the guy that you think is best. I think, yeah, cover's good. Money trades isn't too much of a worry. Probably try and make two. Can you upgrade McInnes if you want? McInnes and Savage to get two guns. I reckon you can get both. You can get McInnes to one of the superstars. Maybe Savage to Teddy would be cool. And then McInnes can go up. We can do Pole as well. You get like 600k guy and they can go Savage to Teddy. Well, they need their 250 and then use 300, 330 to go Pole up to a 700k ish guy that would fit the Cotter, the Dylan Brown. So you can probably get two guys if you want to do that one. I think it works. Last one. Week one of my head to head finals about to start with less advice from a team. The top four this week's not a knockout round for me. I think you're making two trades. Lola to Munster made a 220 red dot. Yeah, that could work. It does let me know center cover enough trades to cover Burton naked. I think we did we go through this one before? Potentially. Um, with that one, I think that's fine because you have seven trades remaining. I would I would do it. Uh, you have that would leave you with two cash outs. Just sweet. Just lock that in, man. That's good. You can go for Dykesy or something if you wanted to as well. But that is that video, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you very much for being here the entire time. We did about 18 minutes there, which is cool. And yeah, good luck with your trades for this week. We'll catch you in our trades video. Also the draft size ones. See you later, guys. Have a good day.